today I'm going to talk to you about the subject of Deagle forecasts. The Deagle forecasts are uh, forecasts about depopulation of various countries published in 2014 for the year 2025. In uh, principle, Deagle is a company who is doing forecasts for the CIA or the military or, or industrial complex. And the, it's supposed to forecast how much each country is going to invest in uh, arms arm deals. And for that, they, pre, they use the, the GDP of a country and, f, and the size of the population of the country. And from there, they forecast how much will be invested in uh, arm deals. And uh, what was special for 2014 is that they predicted huge uh, depopulations from a, a large number of countries, especially Western Occidental countries. So the example is the United States was predicted that for 2025 would be 70 percent fewer people living there. The UK, 75 percent. Ireland, 78 percent. France, 42 percent. Israel, 46 percent. Germany, 66 percent. Luxembourg, 66 percent. Belgium, 26 percent. But strangely, the Netherlands would lose only one percent. Wouldn't change, basically. And that there were forecasts for other countries. I'm simply giving you a general spread of those countries who would be affected, mainly Occidental countries. And the question is, what would cause that? Especially that now we are mid-2024 and it didn't happen. When COVID arrived in 2020, many people spoke about these predictions and said, Oh, these people knew about COVID, only that COVID and even the vaccines didn't have such effects, depopulating effects. And according to their predictions, something should happen within the next six or 10 months. And so I'm going to try to understand what they expected to, to happen from the variation between the countries. So if you see that the Netherlands have no depopulation, it means it can't be a tsunami. It can't be a rise in the ocean of the water level of the, of the seas because uh, the Netherlands are mainly under water, under sea level. But it could have been because we see that Ireland is losing 78%, but it's not because the Netherlands would have lost even more. So I checked and tried to correlate the variation, the, the forecast, the variation in the forecast per country with measures of the country. And I found that 50% of the variation, so a very high correlation, was with the GDP per capita. How much on average money per person in a country. The richer the, pers the average person in a country, the more people would disappear from that country via probably death and maybe also migration. So the rich countries would, uh, the richer country, the more it would lose population. So that was already in itself very strange. And, but it still didn't explain all the variation. 50% of the variation was unexplained. In the Netherlands and Belgium and Luxembourg, the differences are very large in the population levels, but the, the GDP per capita isn't so different. So I still, I was asking myself, I'm on, on, a, on a meeting group, working group in, of Children Health Defense. So I sent this and asked, are there people who, who have an idea what else could be correlated with this? And someone told me, uh, Hervé, look at mental health 
in the various countries. So I, I googled mental health per country and I found a, a work where for part of the countries that I had analyzed, I had some mental health measurements, which are basically psychometrics originating from some formal form sent around in each of the country it is and to a few hundred or a thousand persons. And from the answers, you get some score percentage depression, percentage adaptability, percentage uh, uh, resilience, percentage motivation and drive and so on. And I find that actually 30% of the remaining variation that wasn't explained by the, by, by the, the country richness was explained by uh, the drive, the index of drive that they, that they extracted from their from, from some kind of form. So it is, what we learn from this is basically this forecast resembles some kind of progressist fantasy. Something, uh, people who have some ideal of punishing the rich and believe very hard into psychometrics, which is basically the signature of psyops people who professionally do psychological operations. And these people are psychologists or psycho, and they will believe in psychometric data so much that 10 or 20 points on some kind of very abstract drive measure of extracted from a, a form will explain millions of people disappearing from one country, but not from the other. So you see, it's not to say that there is no link between some psychological mood in a country and what will happen, but you can't explain so big differences between Belgium and, and Netherlands or France. That's, that makes no sense. And, but that's, what they would mean. And that's where you see that it's a psyop, it's a scam. It's not a real forecast for some kind of economic financial group. It is actually the fantasy of progressists hiding behind a so-called serious forecast for a company who would do that and who was known to be serious. And this is very, in itself, saying a lot. I also tried other measures, which I could imagine could be correlated. And none of the other measures that I tried would explain the variation in the, in the depopulation level forecasts from the Deagle. For example, the level of corruption in a country, uncorrelated. Suicide rates, uncorrelated. Free press, uncorrelated. I had, I tried other uh, things, that none were correlated. And these were things, so you see again, as I say, the signature of PSYOPs people, because they believe in their form saying, oh, this is the level of drive, but they don't believe in the level of corruption for predicting depopulation. There was no correlation or a marginal correlation with the um, um, guns in the population. And of course, the prediction was the more guns, the, the more the population, but the correlation was marginally significant only because of the United States, where you have really a lot of guns. If you take out the United States, there is again no correlation. So. Again, as I tell you, it, it's basically a scam. It's a psyop. It is designed to create anxiety in a population, exactly as the H1N whatever uh, story, the monkeypox, the COVID, the vax, and whatever else. Only that we have here the decal is a clear case, and it is there since 10 years. And now that nothing happened and we are mid 2024, so 
you shouldn't think that in the next time something terrible will happen. Maybe it will, but not because of their forecast. It's only there to frighten you. And what do you think about what they justified in time that uh, the depopulation was due to the atomic bomb risk? What do you think about it? In that case, you would ha wouldn't have more in Germany than in France. The atomic war between Russia and the EU, the, the atomic bombs would come from France. But you can continue, and there is no reason in that case that the Netherlands wouldn't be at all affected, but that uh, Belgium would. But England, again, would even more than France and Belgium. It makes no sense.